Instant match reaction, Leeds United 1, Everton 2 at Ellen Road. A fantastic three points for Carlo Ancelotti's Everton team. And Carlo demanded a response after Saturday's awful defeat to Newcastle. And boy, he got that response today. Was that even Everton that we were watching in the first half? It was just absolutely exceptional. A little bit of a different style in the second half. Obviously, we had to work a lot harder. Leeds were pushing for the equaliser. And, you know, it was very much back to the sort of flat back four, um, sorry, the uh, low block back four um, with Godfrey sitting in there and Holgate as well. Dean pushed a bit further forward and we had to defend a lot more. But I think coming into this game as a whole, you know, we all sat here as Evertonians and I think we thought that was going to be Carlo's game plan from the off, you know, just to sit back with a you know, a flat back four, Godfrey at left back, Allgate at right back, uh, low block and just defend, defend, defend and allow Leeds United to have, you know, a lot of the ball and allow them to come forward and sign it them on the counter attack and, you know, for that first four or five minutes of the first half, it looked very much like that, Leeds had a lot of the ball, they were controlling the game, you know, we were just sort of, you know, focusing on defending but... After that point, you know, Andre Gomez gets the ball in the midfield, plays an excellent ball over to Luca Dean, an unbelievable pass to Luca Dean. I thought Andre Gomez was exceptional today. Passes it to Luca Dean, and Luca Dean's under an awful lot of pressure. Still manages to put in a fantastic ball across the box. And it's a great goal from an Everton point of view, because it's a great ball into the box by Luca Dean. But if I'm a Leeds fan there, I'm absolutely screaming. If Everton have conceded that, I'd have been absolutely screaming the house down, because not one Leeds defender, despite there being about four or five of them in the box, decides to track Gilfie Sigurdsson's run. Luca Dean plays a menacing ball into the box, and Gilfie Sigurdsson just walks between everybody and taps it in. And from that point on, you're thinking, great, we've scored a goal now. Are we now going to sort of focus in on just defending the lead and, and trying to make it a hard 85 minutes for Leeds. But we didn't. We sort of come alive in this first half. There was a new level of intensity, a new level of agency, a new level of pace to this Everton side. And the question was always going to be, would Everton going to be able to keep up with, with the pace of this Leeds side and you know how quick they moved the ball and how quick they counter-attack and stuff. And we absolutely did in that first half. He produced a performance that I don't think I've seen this season. I don't think I've seen a better half of football from Everton this season. Even when we were winning games comfortably at the the start of the season we were so quick we were first to everything Dominic Calvert-Lewin scored and I actually thought he had a relatively poor game by his standards to be perfectly honest don't get me wrong he worked really really hard but he had three or four really really good opportunities to, to score and he could have walked away with a hat-trick comfortably today if he'd have been a little bit more on form but he didn't obviously you can't get sad because he scored the winning goal ultimately and he worked very very hard but what I'm saying is that first half performance was just so refreshing to see. You know, we started with the midfield of Andre Gomez and, and um, Gilfie Sigurdsson. And I think we all read the team sheet out at, at half six and thought, is Andre Gomez and Gilfie Sigurdsson going to be able to keep up with the, the level of pace in, in Leeds' as midfield? Are they going to be able to keep up with Calvin Phillips, who absolutely tore us to bits at Goodison Park a few you know weeks back? But they did. They absolutely did. They kept up with them for the entire 45 minutes. In fact, we were the attacking force. We were coming forward. We were throwing men forward. We were creating chances. Chances. You know, Richarlison has a couple of chances. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, like I said, has one where he cuts back in, bounces off to him. And I actually think he should do a lot better with the shot, considering he's got all the time in the world outside the box and he fires it at the goalkeeper. We saw Gilfie Sigurdsson getting in on the act. Andre Gomez was fantastic. Abdelai Decore was a 10 out of 10 today. Not just in that first half when everybody put in a shift and everybody was brilliant. I thought Richarlison didn't stop. Um for the entire first 45 minutes, and we'll talk about Richie in a moment, but I thought he didn't stop whatsoever, not a moment of break, same with Dominic Calvert-Lewin, but I thought, obviously the second half was a little bit different, it was a bit more of a struggle for us, it was a bit more of holding on in the final 10 minutes, don't get me wrong, we still had three or four chances in the second half to completely kill the game off, but I thought throughout the entire game, there was two players there that stood out to me, more than anybody else on that pitch, in fact, more than anybody else who is currently playing football now, and I haven't even watched the other games, but I know Full fact that in any of the other games, there won't be a performance as good as Abdelai Decore's and Ben Goffrey's today. If anything has proved all of our points um, of, of Ben Goffrey has to be in this Everton team, it's that performance today. He was absolutely 10 out of 10, colossal. Not only his defending, but his acceleration is, is something that I've never even seen before. He accelerates like a steam train through the middle of the park. He's picking the ball up. He's making the slide challenges in the right areas. He's winning the headers. But also one thing I've talked about a couple of times recently is he's commanding. The camera went to Ben Godfrey and panned on him on a number of occasions, obviously, because he'd made the last-ditch tackle or he's seen his man 
out for a goal kick and every time it went on him he obviously doesn't know the camera's on him but every time it went on him you're seeing him screaming at players he's directing players he's saying come up move forward you go there he's just a leader he is an absolute leader and that's exactly what we need another 10 out of 10 performance by Ben Goffrey today everything he does is just calm if a Leeds player had the, the run on, on our defence he'd just shield them off he just absolutely shield them off and I did think that as, as much as I think Luka Dean had a much better game than Saturday and his assist is, is absolutely peach perfect I did think there were a couple of times there was a time within the first 20 seconds of the game where they got in behind him far too easily and he was caught sleeping and Ben Goffrey just sweeped up as if it, you know, it was no man's business he, he just made what could have been potentially a, a goal scoring and threat for Leeds, he just made it a, non, a, a nothing because of how good he is. He was 10 out of 10 today. And the other player, Abdelai Decore, arguably the best performance Abdelai Decore has put in an Everton shirt. What we saw from Abdelai Decore today is what he can bring going forward, what he can bring as a box to box central midfielder. We've all seen how good he is at breaking the play up and that defensive work and linking the play between defence and, and you know the attack. But today we saw the real box-to-box -box Abdelai Decore that we've seen for Watford on a number of occasions. He was bringing the ball. He was counter-attacking fantastically. He put two or three really good balls into Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And Dominic Calvert-Lewin should have done better with them. Um, and he was just exceptional from his defensive duties to his passing, to his picking the ball up, to his, like I said, you know, um, making sure that Leeds couldn't get behind us to, to going forward and attacking with with threat and with promise, picking the ball up in the midfield and getting us forward. That's one thing I noticed today, which was widely different from the the, the, the performance against um against Newcastle on Saturday. In fact it was polar opposites, is that we were actually attacking today and that and that was something that I don't think any of us expected. I think when we come into this game against Leeds, we all thought this was going to be a very defensive Everton performance, one similar to the one you know, the game against Chelsea and Arsenal at Goodison Park and Leicester away. And, and I think we may have all accepted that because Leeds are a team that do come forward. But we took the game to Leeds today, certainly in that first half. And on a number of occasions in that second half, was it harder in the second half? Yes it was because they were a lot better than they were in the first half. But we still had three, four, five chances you know, to, to kill the game off. And, you know, Richarlison has an effort, which is saved. Dominic Calvert-Lewin has one, which for me is just, you have to score that. You absolutely have to. You go one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper and you're the centre forward. You've got to score. I've got a lot of praise for Dom and I think his goal again today was exactly the type of goal that he needs to score and in the position that he needs to be in. But you've got to score those one-on-ones. You simply have to and he hits it right at... Um, <clears throat> Right to the goalkeeper, but my point is, Abdelai Decore created almost everything today. He was our creator, he was our creator. He played very similar to James Rodriguez does, and I think him and Ben Goffrey both were just a level above anything, and they were both a 10 out of 10. Um, quite comfortably, a little bit of a spoiler for the player ratings there, but that's what they're both getting because they were absolutely excellent. Um, and like I said, you know, the work rate was there, the effort was there, the intensity was there, something that. You know, take it. You know, remove the Newcastle game, for example. That's not something that we've seen a lot recently. Even in the games that we've been winning, even in the performances that we've been doing well, we haven't really brought that intensity and that energy and that you know quick football and creating and attacking and, and being a little bit ruthless. And that's what we've shown today. Obviously, um, great ball comes in by Gilfie Sigurdsson um, uh, from the corner. Ben Goffrey with a fantastic head on and Dom gets the, the goal and it's 2-0 and you're going in at half time and you're thinking, right, can we keep this up now? Probably should have expected Leeds to come out firing and, and us to be a little bit more defensive and that's exactly what happened to be fair. Leeds flew out straight away, got the goal back instantly. Um, poor defender by Mason Olgate. I thought Mason had a decent game today, a little bit hot and cold on certain times, but I thought overall he had a decent game. He was strong, he was big, he was getting forward on a couple of occasions as well. He, he seemed to be really, really enjoying that, but he did get caught out on a couple of occasions. One of them was their goal. <coughs> um, <coughs> like I said, they get back into it and... From that point on, it was it was pressure stations, wasn't it? It was always going to be, you know, holding on and, and getting the three points. And I don't mind that, to be honest. It wasn't the most entertaining second half. Certainly not as entertaining as the first half. Obviously, we brought Michael Keane on. Josh King come on for his Everton debut as well. Didn't really have an awful lot to do. Um, but again, he only come on with about five or ten minutes to go. Tom Davis come on to show the game up. But I, I, I really, really I praise a lot of performance today. Ben Goffrey, exceptional. Yeri Mina, I thought, was very, very, very solid. Bar in the odd lapse of concentration, very, very solid throughout the entire game. That first half, he was unbelievable. He was absolutely unbelievable and very, very solid in the second half as well, to be fair. You know, didn't let anything pass them. Um, 
Robin Olsen makes two big, big saves, albeit I think he puts us in that situation with a poor ball to the core, but he makes two big, big saves when he needs to, and then another one straight after. Um, so we had a really good game, like I said, Mason put in a shift, um, Tom Davis when he come on done well. Gilfie Sigurdsson and Andre Gomez really surprised me because I was looking at that team sheet at half six and I thought that midfield, Baron and Decore, has simply not got the energy to keep up with Leeds' midfield and they proved me massively, massively wrong. I ate a massive slice of humble pie today because um, both Andre Gomez and Gilfie Sigurdsson put in at 110% and Andre Gomez I thought was brilliant, absolutely brilliant, much better game than we've seen recently and his confidence is growing and growing and growing and considering... You know, we looked at that side of before the game and thought, where's the energy coming from? They all brought the energy. Like I said, Richarlison, very good in the first half. Work rate, exceptional again. Will be frustrated with himself. Didn't look happy whatsoever when he come off head in his hands. Uh, sorry, head down and, and looking a little bit frustrated. But that's because he's not scoring. Um, again, work rate, you can't fault though. He didn't stop running in that first half. And I thought he was better, to be fair to Richarlison. I know he won't be happy with his performance, but I thought he was better. He was beating his man more uh, comfortably. He was having shots on, on goal more comfortably. And he also was, um, like I said, he was winning the ball forward and bringing us forward rather than losing it. He did lose it on a couple of occasions, but he was mostly bringing it forward. And I think um, that's an improvement to what we've seen recently. Iwobi, done all right. Wasn't <clears throat> as in the game in the second half. Again, in the first half, very, very good. Bringing the ball forward. Won it on a couple of occasions in, in really good areas for us and brought us forward. Um but again, in the second half, sort of, sort of faded a little bit. But our attack did fade at, at times in the in the second half. We still counter attacked and we still had opportunities, but it wasn't as quick flow and it wasn't as intense. It wasn't as fast paced as the first half. But like I said, you know, we, we we could sit here and all day and say, oh, we just defended for the second half, and Leeds fans might say that, but ultimately we didn't because Dominic Calvert Lewin has a one on one where he could see the game off comfortably. Richarlison has an opportunity where he could see the game off comfortably. There's a ball that comes in and, and Dom swings for it and misses it. Um, I think a corner comes in and, and, and uh, it just goes through everybody, even though it was a fantastic head, uh, height to, to head the ball. So we had chances for that game to end 4 5 6 1. Um, but ultimately, you know, we didn't take them. And like I said, for me, Dom has to do better. He scored the winning goal and praise all the praise in the world for that, but he has to do better on those chances. But we've won the game. All as we asked for at the start of, uh, of tonight was a win, a big win to get rid of that Newcastle defeat and bounce us back coming up against the tough, tough Manchester United side on Saturday. And that's what we've had today. We've had a really, really good first half performance and a battle in second half performance. Was it unbelievable? No. Did Leeds have a plethora of opportunities that they could have scored? Yes. But so did Chelsea, so did Leicester away, so did Arsenal, so did Wolves. But we dealt with them defensively and we dealt with them really, really well. And ultimately, the three points is all that matters. I think I've just heard the stat that Everton have won. I think it's five away games on the bounce, might be four away games on the bounce now for the first time since the 1980s. And that's the effect that Carlo Ancelotti has on this Everton team. And we've questioned recently whether this Everton team can play football or whether we're just best just going for that low block and hitting teams on the counter-attack. Well, I think in that first half, we showed that we can we can play football, albeit I thought Leeds defended poorly, certainly for our first goal in that first half, but we showed that we've got that level of intensity, we've got that level of energy, and it's a big, big, big important win for Carlo Ancelotti's Everton, and to be honest with you, I'm absolutely made up, I'm absolutely made up, the only thing I could say is Don could do a little bit better with his chances, I'd have liked Richarlison to get a goal, and I'd have liked Josh King to have been a bit more involved, but you know what, you can't really complain, the core a, Absolutely excellent. Ben Goffrey, a behemoth at the back. Yeti Mina, unbelievable again. Robin Olsen, really, really solid and confident. Uh, Mason Allgate, solid performance. Gilfie Sigurdsson, surprising but really good performance. Same with Andre Gomez, excellent. And the forward line worked very, very, very hard. But maybe should have been a little bit more clinical. But who cares? We won the game. We won the game 2 1. Um, you know, we've got to be happy about that. Anyway, that is the instant match reaction. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like. Play ratings will be up shortly, so look out for those. Massive, massive thank you for watching. Get in, up the toffees, and we'll see you soon on the Mighty Blues.